right, now we got the old girl uh, Craftsman 18 inch bar, I think. Something like that. Let's sharpen her up too. All right, I've already gassed them up. Let's get them oiled up and see how terrible of a job we did sharpening it. It's already got some bar oil in it. It's like Captain Kleeman said, is it really even full if you don't overflow over the top there and just spill it everywhere? Is it even full if you don't do that? I don't think so. I think that's a industry practice. Got to top it off real good. All right, let's see how many pulls per saw it takes to saying to fire them up huh two three four five six seven oh eight that one fired up a little bit on eight Nine. we could probably go ahead and do this here Well, 50 50 ain't bad, is it? We'll take it. The new steel always fires off good. Darn it. I don't know. I'll check the, uh, I'll check the plug on that. All that kind of stuff. See if we can't get her going. Whew. That doesn't wore me out. Let's go chop some wood. See how good this thing does, huh?
All right, as you probably heard, that was short-lived. We uh, hung that flag actually in the tree right there in the middle of the yard where it used to be. And I found it, I found the screws. Uh, they, they were too stripped to pull completely out. So I just cut them with a disc and pulled the, pulled the mount off. But I found the screws and it dulled my blade, my chain there. So got to get back to sharpening that guy soon. Get that done. And uh, now we got to figure out what else to do. Came up to Salviero's to see if we can get Mama a little bit Charlie Brown tree and then get us a tree as well. didn't take us long. We're pretty well happy with anything we get. <laughs> Kids are over there playing around as normal. Let's see if we can't get this thing situated. Oh, a good thing we're here because I need to get some things for a job soon. see all the wood is gone we have the wood over there pawpaws Mallory's dad getting ready to split it up put it on the pile we've got a couple more little random things we want to do today I have an issue with these back brake lights tail lights whatever our marker lights here on the side of the trailer burn fine but uh, we're going to play with that a little bit. Try to see what we can do on that. And last but not least. Oh, wait. It's on this side. Let's see if I can show you here. Right there. Darn nail, of course. I seem to always catch them on fairly new vehicles or new tires. But that's the first thing we're going to take care of. Let's see how easy that is. All right. We've just got your basic set here. Oh, I got the, the little reamer, I guess you call it. And then the plug tool. And of course our, our plugs here. I showed you the nail a second ago. I'm just gonna use pliers and yank her out. Well. That's all it was, but that's enough to uh, to make it leak, I guess. Dang! We got a little bit. Of that. That's all it was. But I mean, really, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do it. No, we won't be. All 
All right, guys, I uh, took a little fiver to get some water with soap on it just to see if this thing actually is leaking. Because I can't tell. I swear that thing ain't leaking. I swear it ain't. So what is the other reason that this tire... Oh, sorry guys. What's the other reason that this tire is leaking air? I don't know guys. I'm losing my mind here. The only thing I've seen, but it's not bubbling up. <clears throat> it wasn't in far enough to do any damage. Oh no! I guess we'll play with it for a little while, see if it's still leaking. Alright guys, I'm gonna hold you sideways for a second because that's the only, re only way I can get it out. But you can see the bubbling right there. Just very, very slight. Took me a minute to actually find it. But there it is. So. Sorry, little technical difficulties. <clears throat> but, yeah, let's find it again. Let's find it again. Right there. All right. Let's try this one more again. But we got it. I got a little turd hanging off. Just snip it. And then hopefully, 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 it doesn't leak anymore. Let's see how much. I went ahead and put a little extra pressure in there because I knew I was going to lose some. Oh, yeah, we're sitting good. Now. Now let's work on the trailer. All right, I know it's daytime, but we've got the four-way flashers on. Turn the headlights on. Just pull it. There you go. Side markers are on. And nothing in the back here, but messing with it before if you kind of smack on it play with it a little bit it'll start to light up same thing with this one but let's see what it takes all right lighting is a little weird but you got two bolts right here two nuts that can come off the bolt is actually attached to the light assembly itself I think now let's see what's wrong with this thing I know 
uh, sometime throughout the season. I popped, well, there we go. I popped this side light off and of course replaced it, but the bolt holes for this bottom came out. So that might be a part of the issue. Shouldn't be anything going on in there. I bet that's my issue. Okay, let's play with some things here. All right, came to the conclusion that I am not an electrician. And I have no idea what's going on with these lights back here. Like I said, my side markers are working, but the back ones are not. Uh, on this guy, of course, when everything is on, these light up, but nothing lights up here. Sorry, I done messed you up there. These light up, but nothing lights up here on this side. So I'm not sure if the connection is bad. I mean, it's much a brand new connection only a year old like i said i'm not not 100 all right guys as you see i went ahead and said screw it i've already broke the mounting part on that to my trailer so i need another set of uh, tail lights anyways let's just do it so what we are going to do that's roadside left hand Stop. just trying to see which one is which here I guess that's the way that it came out bingo so that'll be the one we need now since we have it here with us let's go ahead Grab the right size wrench. Are we metric? Oh, well, we're half inch, but 12 millimeters seem to work. Let's see if I got a half inch. Do it the right way, guys. Do it the right way. Nope, not a half inch. I lied. How about a 716? Man, that's gorgeous. 716. All right. So then we need some splicers and strippers no not those kind of strippers uh there's a red handle babe somewhere just like these but it's a red handle and i couldn't tell you where it is it might be inside in that little cubby hole maybe On the magnetic strip or something. Those are just my, my better wire strippers. These are a little too big. Or honestly, I could just do it with a pocket knife. Let me go find those. All right. Sorry if you can't hear us. We got the highway. We got wind. We're just having all kinds of fun. And wouldn't you know it? the same size that these guys are is not going to be the same size as that all right now that we have found the right size 10 millimeter we can get these off correctly bingo bongo all right, so we have enough, uh, babe, just to be safe, unplug the uh, thing right there. I'm going to get her to unplug the cord, the uh, trailer hookup from the, from the thing there, so we're all safe. Now, 
you've got let's bring you around to this side how well you can see here but you got a green wire and you got a black wire coming off so we're stripping both of them back uh, that's a little too fat there And then what we'll do is go ahead and mount this guy, hook up wiring and zip tie it back here in just a second. snug enough let's strip these wires back if we can there we go oh it's got that little piece of solder there Now, obviously, green to green. And I'll go ahead and twist them up first and then put the wire nuts on them. got brown to black which I bet this was a brown at one time I'm just snugging it up all right Hit the brake lights or turn the lights on four ways, do something, let's see what it does. Oh, that's right, maybe we should plug it back in, huh? replace this other one and see what it does hopefully all right so we're working but we're not working I've got my side markers as you can see the truck is on four-way flashers so I've got that this one blinks this one's on solid uh, I don't know why but oh well Oh, marker light, marker light. So, marker light, turn signal, brake light. But, you get over here to this side, turn signal, brake light, and nothing on this marker light. And like I said, I've already, you know, I've done all my wiring and stuff like that. Um, I was playing around with, well, there's that marker light burning good. I was playing around with my adapter here and my hook up here so I bet I've got to do some cleaning clean it up in there do something I, I don't know I don't know but 
everything's working I'm legal I just don't have a, a marker light back there for some odd reason oh well at least we got lights finally right I mean <laughs> let's let's be happy for that yeah. but all right cool so now we can end this video on a happy note appreciate you watching make sure to like subscribe and comment we'll see you on the next one hopefully it's not as rainy <laughs>